I'm going to tell you, right, we've we, we tried something different here. The signals are not the best. There's Vincent oh, there. Oh, someone just put the kettle on there in the kitchen. Jesus. Well, I've got, a, I've got a drink, so it's all right. And what we're going to do, we're going to try to do, we're going to try to do a quiz. And you can see how, but look, see my nails. Did you see them? Look at them. Upcoming video, you can see uh, why I've got my nails painted. But on this video, we're going to do a bit of a football quiz. Vincent, you know, you're... you're You've got the most knowledgeable football brain of a person that I know. Right, so the knowledge ain't a lot, then. Well, it's, it's more than, far more than I'm going to know. So on this video, as football has been cancelled forever, we're going to go through some football facts, strange facts on football. Some of them might be fake. And you've got to tell me whether you think they're real or fake. Oh, I'll, I'll give it a bash. What's the prize? What do I win? You just win. If you win, you win. Alright. Right, so we're ready. We're ready to go. Right. So here's the first one. No goal is allowed if the ball goes flat when it's in the net. So if you kick the ball and it's pumped up, but when it goes in the goal, if it goes flat, the goal is allowed or disallowed? I'm saying allowed. No, it's no goal. It says... Do you it, it and it's fully pumped up and then it crosses the line, what's it matter whether it's flated or not? I will read you the official statement from FIFA. Oh, thanks. This is a very unlikely scenario, although it is possible to witness. FIFA rules basically say that the goal will not count if the ball is not fully pumped up when it crosses the line. Oh, uh, all right, fair enough. What, that's, that's the first one. The, the second, the sec, I will put a link to this quiz online, but some of them I'm going to make up. <laughs> if a player needs to go to the toilet mid-match, what are they allowed to do? On, do it on the pitch. Gary Lineker did, famously did it in the World Cup. He knows that one, and I made that one up. <laughs> <laughs> he did do it, didn't he? He did poop himself. Yeah, he done a poop. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> when he tweet, whenever Gary Lineker tweets something, every reply he gets about a million replies, and about nine hundred thousand of them just say "shit my pants" or something like really? that. Really? Right, yeah. you got that one right. Even though I made it up. You can. Right here we go. This is a good one. You can still get carded for an illegal celebration, even if the goal is disallowed. Yeah, I'd say that's, um, yeah, I'd say that's true because you're inciting the crowd no matter what. Yes. The he gets that one. You got that one. Right. You could. Can you or can't you receive a red card before the match? Did you say yellow or red? Red. I'm saying yes, you can. And you can. You can. It's happened a few times, but it has happened. There has been an argument inside the tunnel and a player got sent off from... Patrick Vieira. Happened to Patrick... Patrick Vieira? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had an argument in the... Yeah, and there's something else happened. Um, someone in 2017, as early as, someone kicked a fan in a tunnel. Sent off... <laughs> Right, here we go. Penalty takers in a shootout need to equal... Or, oh, this is a bit of a boring one, but they have to equal both teams. After what? It's, right, so if, say me and you are doing penalties, and I'll put yeah. out six players and you put out seven, they can't go ahead with the penalties. It has to be even. Oh, it has to be the same number of players? Yeah. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, that's just a, that's a fact. Oh. That's a boring one. <laughs> Moving oh, on. Did I, what, 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 did I get that one right then? Because you just basically stated a fact. Yeah. That was... <laughs> the, right, this one This one might get you because it said this one stumps a lot of football fans. Alright. Uh, no own goals from throw-ins and free kicks. Or can you have an own goal from throw-in and free kicks? So if, so if, I, if I'm a defender... 
defender and I take a throw in and I throw it to my goalie and it rolls in the net. Yep. Is that what that is? Yes. Does it does it count as an own goal? That, that, that would count as an own goal. No. You cannot. Is it because it hasn't touched someone. Even if it touches someone on the way in, it classes as the kickers. The kickers. Oh, well, the person who's touched the ball. Yeah. So, oh yeah, so if it passes as the kickers, what do you mean the kickers? So if I throw it and it rolls in the net... <laughs> or the person that threw it, it's the same as the, the kick... Well, I'll read, you, I'll read it to you. It says, this one is quite popular and stumps a lot of football fans. <laughs> Uh, that even uh, the goal will simply not count. Oh. Well, we'll we, we leave that one to the. <laughs> <laughs> it's going well so far. Yeah, number seven. Do you know the one meter rule in free kicks? The one meter rule? Is that uh, the one meter rule? It, would it, I'm going to say something like um, this is not it's not I don't think it's one meter as in that's how far away the nearest player can be in regards to on the defending team is it to do with if it's down by the touch line if it's on the touch line they can move it back a meter I don't know it basically just says um, this was made official in June 2019 and states that the attackers are not allowed within one meter from the wall when the free kick is taken that's that new one that came in. Ah, it's a new one. They're not allowed to stand in front of the wall anymore and things like that. All right, number eight. Do you know the six-second rule? Is that how long the goalie's meant to hold on to it before he, he kicks it out? Yep, you know that one. Number nine. No one ever, no one ever enforces that, ever. Really? Uh, sometimes it's really annoying. All right, all right, all right. All right. Um, goalkeepers are not allowed... To shake the posts in penalty situations. Do you remember they used to do that? Bounce on the posts and all that? They used to jump up and down and shake the crossbar and all that, didn't they? And kick their studs against the post. Why do they do that? Well, it says, why? Because the rule book, rule book states that before the penalty is taken, the goal post should be perfectly still. Still, yeah. I suppose that, that yeah. But even before they take a goal kick, they slap their studs against the back of the post. I see it week in, week out. I suppose if you I like... Yeah, I suppose if you're the, you're taking the penalty, you you want that stick to be like that. You don't want a little. Right, number ten. The team which wins the coin toss can choose which side to attack first. Yes or no? Which side? Yeah, they can choose. They can choose. I think you, if you win it, yeah, if you win it, you get to choose which way you're kicking. And then the other team say, well, we'll kick off then, or something like that. Yeah, you knew that one. You knew it. That's number 10. <laughs> well, well, that's the first one. That's the first one of these Adam and Val. Uh, quick, what are we going to call this? Quiz Master with Vince. It's the quiz of the week. <laughs> All right, mate. I'll stop this here and I'll see if it worked. Oh, okay, mate. Keep me updated. All right, done. See you later. Bye. Uh, I don't know where that come out. That was a that was a test to see if we can do on these lockdown periods some sort of video. See you in the next video.